heavyweight bout between Tony Ferguson and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the end. And UFC. you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of his strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets him to the ground, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that Stockton tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. But I love watching. It's so Nate Diaz. Got to get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC. The former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proven ground here tonight. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Darce choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on planet Earth. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he's loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. challenges when you're facing a guy like El Kukui, I would think. Yes, because he's so diverse. You never know if Tony Ferguson is going to hit you with the low single, with the over elbow, spinning attacks. He's got great submission skills. There's so many things that Ferguson can do. You can never truly prepare for him. Punch coming. It's blocked. Ferguson not having it. Stays upright. And they separate. 
Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Right hand upstairs. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Pretty good straight punch there by Tony Ferguson. Straight right hand now, just misses. That's a big strike right there. Sharp body shot is there for Ferguson. Got the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated, and then took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find... Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's a tough armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, this is where you don't want to be there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Ferguson. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Right to side control, yep. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nice, great shot, great shot. Keep the pressure on. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. with the ground and pound here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? 
Second round underway. El Kukui gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice defense there. Huge block. with the left hook. Taken down by Tony Ferguson. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And he landed the right hand there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Ferguson's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Diaz. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel. Right? Nicely done. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Ferguson's pass is denied. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Diaz gets up. He is back on the feet here. 73 total strikes have now landed for Tony Ferguson. And landing with 64% accuracy against Nate Diaz. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Under two minutes now to go. Misses with that punch. Just hard to know what's coming from Tony Ferguson. Hard to know which leg he's gonna lead with. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Big leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Under a minute to go now in round two. Just a slip there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Switching stances Quick level here. Change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs>
right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ten minutes in the books. Hey, stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Third round underway. Oh, huge block! Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. There's no tell on that leg. Punch there by Tony Ferguson. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. So 95 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Well, dipping just below 50% in terms of... Oh, oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Brilliant submission defense there. Down into his mouth. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tony Ferguson. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Nice hammer fist. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Diaz gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Effective punch there by Diaz. Ferguson's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Under a minute now to go. Yeah. 
stuffs. Oh, that was a big take. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, nice. Side control now. Ferguson's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now. How good is that right hand? That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He just tried to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, oh and even Ari will right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh! You gotta scramble. You gotta scramble. I wanna see a scramble. He might get a finish here. Wow. Go, guys, run. All right to the mount. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Yo, guys, work. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Diaz's lower jaw is just nasty at this point, really swollen in that area now. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Ferguson's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Tony Celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.